everyone, my name is Sonia Javeri and today I'll demonstrate a science experiment. My question was, if you create a mixture of acid and milk, will it always produce casein? My materials are 200 milliliters of CC lemon, 200 milliliters of orange juice, 200 milliliters of lemon juice, four large cups, 1,100 milliliters of milk, or 1.1 liters, a spoon, my independent variable are the acids. For example, like I said in my materials, the CC lemon, the orange juice, and the lemon juice. They are all the acids I'm going to use. My hypothesis was, I think only the orange juice will not form casein with milk. But I think that the CC lemon and lemon juice will. So I think that it doesn't always form casein. It depends. Procedure. Start with setting up your control. To do this, pour 100 milliliters of milk into one of your cups. Like this. So, our control is done. Now we can begin the experiment. Pour 250 milliliters of milk into another one of your cups. Then pour 200 milliliters of lemon juice into that same cup and use your spoon to th stir it three to four times. I just put the lemon juice in. Stir it three to four times. One, two, three. Pour 250 milliliters of milk into another one of your large cups. Then pour 200 milliliters of orange juice into that same cup and stir it three to four times. Pour 250 milliliters of milk into your last large cup. Then pour 200 milliliters of CC lemon into that same cup and stir it three to four times. This is the CC lemon. for about 30 seconds. Do you see the casein? To tell that we have casein, we have to use our spoon. So let's see. 
This is Cassine. A little sticky. It's not exactly milk, so it's Cassine. You can take. So this was the lemon juice. Let's see if the CC lemon worked. Oh, sorry. I mean, let's see if the orange juice worked. It did work, but not so much as the other one. Let's see if the CC lemon worked. Let's wait a little bit. This worked too, but this one, surprisingly, is less thicker than the orange juice. Surprisingly, all of the mixtures of acid and milk produced casein, the CC lemon, the orange juice, and the lemon juice. I realized that when the milk and any kind of acid are mixed together, the milk separates into liquid and a solid. The solid is casein. The reason the milk was turning into blobs and moving around was that the casein is made up of very long molecules that bend like rubber until they harden. My hypothesis was wrong because I thought that acid and milk do not, does not always turn into casein, but it does. This was a chemical change because it is changing the substances inside the acid and milk. For a next experiment, I think I would like to test if only, if only acid and milk can produce casein. I wonder if other mixtures can. Thanks for watching!